why Naomi Osaka's Haitian heritage keeps being ignored. <music> Naomi Osaka just won the US Open by beating her idol, Serena Williams. And no matter the controversy around the win, I still think she deserves the title. But the one thing that hasn't been sitting well with me is how the media act like she's not Haitian. I've seen her already on three different occasions have to check somebody for saying that she's only Japanese. This girl has to keep bringing up the fact that she's Haitian and they mad. I was going to make a video on this years ago when they used to bring up Maxwell's Latino heritage instead of his Haitian. The argument they used to make is that his mother was Haitian so they go by the father's ethnic background. But Naomi's father is the one that's Haitian. What happened to all that energy they had? Her family literally moved to Broward County, Florida, a place with one of the largest Haitian populations. I was raised out here, and I can tell you that I only saw one Asian family growing up. This is South Florida. Naomi is obviously half black, and the last time Japan had a half black representative on the world stage was Ariana Miyamoto. The Japanese media and the people I saw being interviewed about her said they don't consider her Japanese because she's half black. So if your blood was not 100% Japanese, some of them don't consider you Japanese. So what happened to all that energy? We have to be fair in this game because I'm not gonna let that slide on my channel. I was born in the Bahamas, but they still called me Haitian because I'm born from Haitian parents. Y'all playing a dirty game and usually I don't have time, but today I got time. Example number one of heritage hiding. Billionaire Elon Musk was born and raised in South Africa, but every single time they mention him, they say that he's an American inventor or entrepreneur. Sometimes they get fancy and say American, Canadian, South African billionaire. This man did two years in Canada during college and they got full credit. If you want to say he's American, then your only option is to say that he's African American. But that would mess up what y'all got going, wouldn't it? Charlize Theron was also born and raised in Africa, but her profiles always say American actress or American South African actress. She only became a citizen in 2007, so why isn't she an African American actress? See, when people start winning, you take a certain part away from them. The part that you dislike the most gets ignored. But I ain't giving you Naomi. This Aisyah is ours. And we don't mind sharing her with the Japanese, but you ain't shoving us out the picture. Not this time. So here's my message to Naomi. Congratulations on the win. We can't wait to see you at the family function. We got your plate fixed up with Didi and Auntie made Bouillon. And if y'all love what y'all saw here, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Till next time.